Still Gurubio Namaga children, you are welcome for online class. So 12 standard children, we were doing a 6th unit poem, Incident of a French Cap written by Robert Browning. So here this is a second part. In the first part we saw that uh, Napoleon is eagerly waiting for the result and he was explaining how he was standing and other thing. We will be starting from the second stanza, we will see what it is. So this is a war field and eagerly is watching. So Napoleon Bonaparte you can see. Okay, children we are uh, going for the second stanza. Okay, just as perhaps you mused, my plans that so to earth may fall, let once my army lead a lance. Wave at yonder wall, out twist to the battery smoke they flew, our rider bound on bone, full galloping, no bridle drew, until he reached the mound. So here see the feeling of the poet, how he makes the creative thing here. So he sees very clearly, just as perhaps he mused, what do you mean by mused, thought deeply. Mused, thought deeply. So just as perhaps amused, amused means, see the word he is using. Mused means thought deep, deeply. Who is thinking deeply there? Napoleon. What is thinking? What will happen for the war? Whether they get the result, victory or the failure. So that was in his mind running. My plans. What is the plan of Napoleon? Attacking Austria and the Rattlesbane city and to capture and conquer it. That so to earth may fall, that so to earth may fall, let once my army leader land. So here he says that so, so means fly high. So here he thinks that if they won the thing or they capture the place, there will be a victory for them and they will be having a flying, very happy in their mood. And to the earth may fall or earth may fall. What do you mean by earth may fall? Whether that soar, it will be having winning flying colors or it will be earth may fall or it will be in failure. Whether the result attacking will be captured or they will be get caught. So that was in the mind of M. So that soar to earth may fall. So my plans that soar, my plans will be victory won or it will be in failure. That means to earth may fall. Let once my army leader. So here who is the army leader? Lance. What is his name? His name is Jean Lance. His name is Jean Lance. Waver at yonder wall. So here he is standing. Whether he will waver at yonder wall. You have to give. Whether he will be running or he will be losing. So that was running in his mind and he was thinking and standing. How twisted the battery when he saw, he saw the battery and how twisted the battery smokes. So here you know that when they have soldiers, they have only sword and other things. Maybe enemy of opposite may have cannons and other things also. So there was a battery smoke there, they flew. So in the war field, you saw the battery smoke field, a rider, 
bound and bound. So, a rider on the horse is just bound and bound and bound, full galloping, galloping and galloping, nor bridle drew. They were not uh, bridle drew and they did not take the hand from the bridle and they were just going fast. They are not stopping anywhere. They were galloping in a fast movement until he reached the mound. So, until he reached the mound, till he reached the mound. So, when he saw the situation, there full galloping nor bridle grew. So, full galloping nor bridle grew. So, uh, without stopping the horse, you know that a bridle means you will be having a horse will be having a, uh, uh, a thing will be covered and you will be just holding it. If you want to stop, you can stop with the help of that bridle. But here he is not stopping there until he reaches the mound. So, mound means the hill top where Napoleon is just standing. Children, you understand this stanza? First stanza, it is an explanation how Napoleon is eagerly waiting for the result, just standing there erect in a standard position and waiting for the result. And second stanza tells you that just as perhaps he was just thinking very deeply whether they won the uh, battle or lose the battle that was running in his mind. And at that, at uh, the Jean Lance was the person, a commander in chief, he had taken the French army and uh, he will be uh, one that was the, uh, his strength and uh, eagerly is waiting for the result at that time. Without stopping a galloping horse, a young person comes on it. So, until he reached the mound, till he uh, comes to the mound, he had not stopped anywhere. He was not holding the bridle at all. He was just galloping and coming to the place very fast. Okay. So, the third stanza tells you, then off they flung in a smiling joy and held himself erect by just as ours man a boy you hardly could suspect. So tight he kept his lips compressed, scarce any blood came through. You look twice here, you saw his breath was all put shot in two. So here yeah, this stanza tells you very clearly that the boy was wounded and his life was just waiting to declare that the message to the leader that they won victory over the battle and they conquered the place and you have to die. So, for that he is holding his life and it has been very clearly explained in this stanza. Then off they flung. So, off they then off there flung. Flung means he went very fast in a horse, galloping and went in a smiling joy. He had not shown any sorrowness in his face. He had severe pain in his body, but he was just giving a smile, smiling joy and held himself erect. He was sitting very erect on the horse and he is compressing and tight erecting and you want don't want as blood to come out and ooze out and it must be shown to the the Napoleon. So here he was just sitting erect but just as ours man it was you know a man uh, air which is grown on the horse it will be having lot of air grown on a snake part it's just holding that a boy it's a young boy a soldier you hardly could suspect, you hardly could suspect, you could not suspect that he is wounded. So tight he kept his lips compressed. So he was not even giving any sound of pain, of agony or what. He was just holding his lips compressed and scarce any blood came through. So either, either the blood will come through his mouth or in any part of his body. He was very much worried and he was tight compressed himself and he was very tight and he's holding the man's ass. You look twice uh, you saw his breath was all but shot in two. So you look twice if you're looking twice him. Yeah, you saw his breath was all but shot in two. So it was shot in two, two bullets were there and he had not shown any pain. If you see second time, 
If you keenly observe the second time, twice if you observe only, you can find it out. He was not showing any pain and he was not uh, showing that he was wounded and here he was very smiling face and he was just going and standing. So you are, it is very clear children, you understand this uh, third stanza. Shall we move to the next stanza? So you can see how the war field is, so many had been attacked. Okay. Well, cried he, Emperor, by God's grace, we have got your ratisman, the marshals in the marketplace, and you will be there anon to see your flag bird flap as once, where I to art's desire perched him. The chief's eye flashed his plant sword up again like fire. So you just think over the man, the boy who comes there, he just tells, Well, cried he, Emperor, by God's grace, O oh Lord, Emperor, he cried, By God's grace, we got our your rattus pen. We got your rattus pen. You were just planning for a rattus pen and we got it. So, yeah, by God's grace, we got it by God's grace and your ratisban, see the thing. So, he is not saying our ratisban, he is saying that emperor, your ratisban had been captured by God's grace. You know the head, the marshal, who is a marshal? The head, the commander, so your commander in chief, the marshal in the marketplace, he is in the marketplace and you will be anon, you will be there soon. So here he says that we have victory over the police and the marshal is in the city marketplace. You can go and meet him. So soon you can go and you will be there soon to see your flag. You will be just going there to see the flag birth. So here the, the flag we are having national flag like that. They had their flag with the bird uh, eagle. And your black, uh, flag bird flab his vans. So it will be flabbing his vans. So in a pride, it will be saying that we captured you. The flag will be just giving you a message. Where I? So he says, where I? You will be going and seeing. Where I? To ask desire. I also has a willingness to come and see. But no chance for it. Because he is going to die in a time. See, he is eagerly want to see that. Where I to art's desire, even I am having a desire to come and see that. Perched him, the chief's eye flashed, his plan sewed up again like fire. So when he heard the news of the victory, he was just very happy and he was very, very, uh, uh, what to say, interested that he was long, uh, longing for the message for the victory and when he got he, he thought that he'll be sword means he'll be just flying in a color with the uh, result and the result was positive for him and he's having a fire in his eye yes a brave person will be having so he feels yes i got ratispin so that was his mindset and that was his feeling and here he shows okay it is very clear you understand this shall we move to the next answer So you can see how Napoleon Bonaparte is just having a fireful eyes. The chief's eyes flashed but presently softened. So it was flashed very high with the fire and now when he look at the soldier it has softened. Softened. Why it has softened? Why it has softened children? What for? The reason is he saw the soldier, the young boy was wounded itself as sheets aflam the mother eagle's eye when our burished eaglet breathes so when uh, the eaglet is going to die and it is having a last breath and it's struggling to give a breath when a mother eagle saw that when his eaglet is like that situation how it will be painful for the mother the same feeling here yeah, the poet is having the when Napoleon is having a flim the mother eagle's eye when a burished eaglet breathes at the last minute when it breathes how it will be feeling for it the same way it is feeling you are wounded 
So he is asking now only, are you wounded? You are wounded. Are you wounded? He is asking. Nay. He answers nay. Nay means no. What is saying? No. No. A soldier's pride. Touch it to the quick. He said. So touch it to the quick. He says, no, I am not wounded. He says, I am not wounded. Touch to the quick. A pride of a soldier. And he said, I am killed, sir. So I am not wounded. I am Killed, sir. So he was giving an answer. I'm killed, sir. The soldier. He was a young soldier and he was very proud to die for the nation. He says that I'm not wounded. No, I'm not wounded. I'm killed, sir. So he's giving an answer. I'm killed, sir. And his chief beside, smiling, the boy felt it. So you're and the chief beside. The chief was standing. Napoleon was standing and he was smiling. The boy was smiling at him. The boy fell dead, smiling and he fell dead. Just imagine how a mother's heart would be worried. The same feeling was there for the leader, for his army soldier. So young soldier, he lost his life in the war and he was feeling for it. And it was like a mother feeling, mother eaglet feeling. We'll move to the next. I think it is very clear, children. We move to the next. Yeah. So glossaries we have, storm means sudden violent attack, Rattisburn it is a German Ransburg, a city in Austria, Mauna means ill look or ill, how trust means extended forward, fancy means imagine, prone means inclined downward, oppressive means harsh or demining, muse means thought deep, deeply. So Lance, I already said, Duke of uh, Montalbello, a general in Napoleon's army, bridled the headgear used to control a horse. Compressed means pressed together. And on soon, flag bird means imperial eagle on the French flag. Perched means sat on, rested. Sheets means cover. Okay, children, personification. What is personification? Personification is nothing but any ordinary thing considered as a person and a thing is considered as a person, then it is personification. As if to balance the prone broke. The prone bro is given important here as considered as a bro was considered as a person. So, here it is inclined position. So, it is called as It is called as personification. Perched him. Perched him. The chief's eyes flashed his plants. So you have perched him. So you have perched it being given importance. So it is. So simile soared up again like fire. As in like is coming, it is simile. So soared up again like a fire. A flim, the mother eagle's eye. So a flim, the mother eagle's eye is also. So your mother eagle is compared. It is an implied simile. It is a metaphor. So imaginaries you have lot here. You know we French stormed Ratisbon a mile or so away on a little mound. So when you get this mile means you know the mile uh, how many kilometers like that and French stormed means you can have an imagination little mound. Mound means a hill stood on or storming day means uh, how a storming day is with a neck out rest or a fancy how legs wide arm locked behind oppressive with its mind. So these are all imageries. So, so many imageries are there and alliteration. So, alliteration you have so storming and stood. Let once my army leader, land leader and then let. So, your waver wall and held himself. So, any consonants that are repeated line is called as alliteration. Vowels, if you are getting, it is assonance. When a consonant, if you get, it is alliteration. Any vowel sound is repeated, then it is called as assonance. By just as horse, man, a boy. Okay. Horse is well cried E, emperor by God's grace. God's grace, GG. Soften itself a sheath, soften and sheath. And when bridged, eagle breathe, breathe and bridged. So, children. Okay, children. I think you understood the poem very clearly. Very clear, a small theme. 
the Bro uh, Robert Browning, a poet who just makes an expensive way in a great with the effectiveness, he bring that five stanzas alive and it is a dramatization and made and you enjoyed the poem and you will be uh, learning uh, the poem and I uh, hope you will be getting good marks. You understood very clearly I, I believe. Thank you children, we will meet you in the next class.